Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on our, um, our age button here. We're going to be making the menu and we're also going to be bringing in our, um, age textures and, uh, stuff like that. And, um, yeah. So let's just hop into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the MetaHuman website and we're going to launch it and we're going to make our, uh, aged materials pretty much. We're going to, you know, make a new MetaHuman, but, um, really all we want from it is the uh the material so just launch it and we'll do we'll do what we got to do all right so once you're in what you want to do is you want to go to your uh your first uh male metahuman character just click on it and then once it loads up what we're gonna do is you want to go down here there's this button that says duplicate so just click that button it will duplicate your character and then you want to open that character. It'll actually, it'll probably automatically open it. That's what it did for me. Because I've already done this in testing. But, um, you want to open it. Uh, and all I did was rename the, the, I gave it the same name, but I added aged to the end of it. And all you want to do in here is you just want to go into your skin right here. Keep everything the same, but change the texture. You want to change it until you find a nice old person texture. And yeah, that's all we're going to do here. And you also want to go and do the same thing for your uh, your female character. So we'll just hop back out of here. Uh, go to your female character. When it loads up, uh, just press duplicate. It'll probably automatically open. And then you go inside. You go to the skin. And you just want to change the texture. Uh, I use the same texture for both. The uh, the same like old wrinkly texture for both the male and female. Uh, you can choose different ones if you want. If you want. It doesn't really matter. But um, yeah. Just find you a nice old texture. And then uh, change the name. So that you can easily know the difference. And uh, then we're going to hop in Unreal Engine. Alright. So once you're in Unreal Engine. What we're going to do is we're going to open Quixel. So just right click. Add Quixel content. And we're going to go to our MetaHumans. And we'll go to my MetaHumans. And just, you know, download your new your new MetaHuman. I was hoping I wouldn't have to update it, but it looks like I am. But, uh, yeah. Just download it, and then we'll add these to the uh, project. And then we're going to have to do some slight optimization once we're inside. So once you get downloaded, um... I'm just going to do these one at a time. Uh, start with the mill one first. So once you get it downloaded, we're just going to add it to the project. And then once it's added, all we want to do is we want to go to our MetaHumans folder. We're going to go to our new uh, aged character here. Uh, we're going to open this guy up. And just for my purposes, uh, this isn't really necessary. But I'm going to drop down that LOD sync to 4. Um, and then we're just going to click on the face. The rest of this we shouldn't really have to mess with. All we want to do is go to the face. And then we're going to go to the element zero here. We're just going to open that bad boy up. And we just want to uh, optimize these textures. So I'm just going to bump down the re resolution on some of these. So the uh, the face eye lip uh, mask. I'm going to bump that down to 1024. Save that. And we're going to go down to the next one right here, the foundation. Bump that one down to 1024. And then I'm going to go down here to the baked grooms. Bump that one down to 1024. Save. Close it. Go down to the next one. Bump that one down to 1024. Uh, close it down. Uh, secondary colors. Okay, we ain't got to do nothing there. Uh, the face should be fine. Uh, the nor uh, that should be fine right there. The normal should be fine. Uh, the roughness should be fine. But we're gonna go to this cavity main and bump that down to 1024. Save, close it, and then close the material. And the rest of this we shouldn't really have to mess with because the rest of these materials are uh, shared between all the metahumans. So all the optimization you did before should still you know stay true to uh this metahuman we only had to change the face so now we're just gonna hop back into quixel and add our female character so just download it and then we'll add it so once you get that downloaded we're gonna add it to the project here 
And then we're going to go into... Um, we're going to open that new character up. We're going to open it. And same here. I'm just going to bump down the LOD sync here to 4. And compile. And save. And then I'm going to go up to the face. I'm going to open this top material here. And we're just going to bump these textures down as well. Down to 10, 24. Save. Close that down. Go to the foundation. Bump that down to 10, 24. Save. Close that down. Then we're going to go to the baked groom. And we're going to bump that one down to 10, 24. And this one right here. Yeah, we'll bump that down to 10, 24. Save. Close it. Uh, this one should be fine. Yeah, all of those faces should be fine. That one's fine. The normal's fine. Roughness is fine. And then we're just going to go to this cavity main. And bump that down to 1024. And then save. And close that out. And that's all we want to do with these characters right now. So let's just do a save all. And let's go to our content. And open our main menu level. Then we're going to go into our blueprints. Widgets. Main menu widget. And what we want to do in here is pretty much just duplicate our um, our gender type uh, border here. We just want to duplicate the whole thing. Uh, so just go to the top border and we're just going to right click and duplicate that guy right there. And we want to go and copy the position. So go back to your uh, gender border and copy that X position. So just copy that. And then we're going to go back down to our new border and we're going to paste that X position. And then I'm going to set the Y position to zero. So that way it's in the same spot. So we'll compile and save. Now we just want to rename all this to be our age uh, stuff. So go to the top border and we're going to name this age type border. And we're going to go down to uh, the scroll box border. And we're just going to rename this to age type scroll box border then we're gonna go to the scroll box rename this to age type scroll box and then we're gonna go down to the description one and we're just gonna rename it to age and then we're gonna go down to um, the next one and rename that one to age so age we're gonna go down to the text Rename that to age. So age. We're going to go to the next size box here. And we're just going to rename that one to age. Then the next one. Rename that one to age. Then the next one. Rename it to age. Like that, and then the next one, rename it to age, and the next one. We got a bunch of layers on this, and we'll rename that to age, and then the button, we'll rename that to age, and then the text, we'll rename that to age. And we can go into the text and make that say, uh, young. Uh, I'm only gonna do two buttons. Um, if you look in Elden Ring, I'll actually pull my reference up real quick. Um, if you look in Elden Ring, they actually have three. They have young, mature, and aged. But, like, honestly, I mean, there's such a small difference in the mature one that, um, I'm just gonna do aged and young. Uh, if you want to do that one, you can, you know, go into MetaHuman and find you a, another, um, another, uh, texture, um, skin texture, and, you know, add this if you want to. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, though. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to the two buttons. Um, so yeah, let's go back to where we were. Back to renaming. So, find where you left off. And I'm just going to rename that to age. Then this one. The horizontal box. Rename that to age. Go to the button. Rename that to age. 
then the text rename that to age and then we can go into the text and uh, make that one say aged and then also up here uh, we're just gonna make that text uh, we're gonna make that say uh, young by default we're gonna compile and save then we're gonna go to our age button here click on your age button we're gonna go to the on clicked and add that and we're going to before we do anything with that we're gonna go ahead and um tidy some of this stuff up from where we were doing our gender so i'm gonna box this whole thing in and add a comment and call it um body type code and then the next thing i'm gonna do is um something i realized after the last uh, tutorial is honestly setting these materials here are kind of redundant we don't really need to do that it is a little unnecessary so i'm just going to delete all that and then i'm going to pull this comment in and i just want to double check make sure i didn't delete anything bad yeah looks like we're good yeah so yeah, setting those materials were a little unnecessary. You don't really have to do it there. Uh, and then I'm just going to add a comment to these. To these buttons here. So the gender type male button. I'm just going to comment that and say male button. Um, button clicked. And then I'm going to go to the female button and comment that. Call it female button clicked and go to the edge make sure nothing's hanging out because it loves to do that and that should be good so we'll compile and save and then what we're going to do is on our age button we want to go back and let's click on our border here our age type border should already be a variable because we duplicated it from uh from our character um uh gender type border so it should keep you know all that type of stuff and it should also still be set to hidden if it's not just set it to hidden if it's not a variable set it to be a variable then we're just going to go over here we're going to pull our age type border in and then we're going to uh set visibility and we're going to set it to be visible and what we're going to do next is we just want to kind of copy um yeah we just want to copy where'd it go i'm going to copy this deep impact sound here copy and paste that in and play it and then we're also going to go ahead and um add our our boolean at the end so just duplicate one of your booleans here and we're going to call this um age type button selected and we're going to pull this guy in and we're going to set it. We're going to set that to true like that. And we'll compile and save. And something else we want to do is we want to go back to the designer. We're going to click on the, the young text up here and we're just going to go down. We're going to add the on hovered uh, events like we did before. Uh, why is that not showing me the option? Oh, because I'm on the wrong thing. Uh, go to the button. We want to do on hovered on the buttons. So on the young young button, we want to go to the uh, on hovered. We're going to add an on hovered. And then we're just going to copy what we did for our other on hovered for our gender button. So just copy the set text and play sound. Copy that. Paste it in down here. Plug that in. And then we're just going to hop back over. Click on our young button. Then hop back over and pull that button in. Get it. And then set that to the target. Uh, I guess it won't. Oh, whoops. No. What we want to do. This is where we want to click on that text up there. And then we want to hop back over and pull that text in. And then plug that into the target. And then we're going to make this say um, young like that 
and then we're gonna go back we're gonna go to the aged button here add an on hovered event and we're just gonna copy this right here all of it copy and paste it and I'm gonna make this say aged so that when we hover it it uh, you know it changes so we'll just kind of group these together for now and that should be good but let's uh compile and save and let's see let's give it a little test here so, aged uh you hover it and the text change oh we need to change this text so let's do that real quick let's hop back into the graph or the designer here on the gender type has no bearing on ability we're just going to change that to say aged uh age type has no bearing on ability you can make that say whatever you want that's what i'm going to make it say and let's give that another little test real quick so age you hover over it changes hover over it, it changes and that should be good so now let's just add the ability to leave that menu so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here to where our back button stuff is and something that's bugging me kind of is that this says main menu back button honestly we're gonna use this input for all the menus so i, I kind of want to go rename that <laughs> let's go rename that real quick let's go to our third person input uh actions i'm just gonna get rid of where it says main in the main menu thing here and just call it menu back button so let's just hop back in up here but now what we want to do is uh we're gonna pull some of this back we're gonna get a branch so press b on your keyboard and click add this to the false of the other branch and then we're going to see if our age type button is selected. So do that. And then what we want to do if it is selected is we're going to copy the set visibility and play sound right there. And plug that in. And what we want to set hidden is our uh, aged, um, age type border. Just click on that. Come back over. Pull that age type border in. Plug that in. And then we want to get our age type button selected boolean set it at the end where we want to set that back to false so plug that in and yeah that should be good so let's give that a little test real quick make sure we can go back and forth between the uh the buttons so first uh first i'm gonna do the body type button and then go back and then click on the the age button go back go back to the body type button go back and yeah looks like it's working good and i think that's all we need to do now so yeah i guess we're gonna call it here for now so in the next part we're gonna uh you know be adding what the buttons do when you click on these it'll change the uh the material um something that kind of sucks is that uh metahumans when you choose like a, a age texture like that it doesn't change the body texture which is pretty lame um i mean you could potentially go into say like photoshop or mixer or something like that and make you a um you know make you some wrinkles on the body if you wanted to uh i'm not gonna do that though i'm just gonna keep it a little simple um but if you wanted to you could do that but uh yeah we'll call it here for now if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.